a very pleasant morning of just demolition and then it was um, after that where things went a bit south. But... Right, you can't tell on this camera because it always looks lighter on the camera, but we're losing the light. Got a, I found these things in the box. I'm just trying to work out what they're for. So, um, answers on a postcard if you know what these are for. That's a good excuse for rendering if ever I saw one. Happy Tuesday the 21st of November. Currently 9 degrees and it's meant to be warmer than average. Don't know who they're trying to kid. So, new job. Which is this. Oh, this is all coming out. Window going there. Window going roughly here. This is another Robbie job, so they've done the frames for us, they're just building them in. So our task today is get the window out, get the door out, get this lot toothed out, get that lot toothed out, and then toothed out to about here, because this is where the window's going, she's going to butt up to this brickwork. Um, right. Happy that, news. Yeah, happy news. That doesn't happen very often, but I'll give you the backstory first. Robbie's job. Uh, this is being converted, this extension is going to be a WC utility white goods area so there's going to be window there window here we just spoke to the customer harry nice fella uh, he's just gone through everything with us uh, we told him about the bricks and he said he was thinking of getting the place rendered for obvious reasons let me just show you that's a good excuse for rendering if ever i saw one 65 mil brick into 73 with really bad to them. Yeah, but anyway, so he said, I was thinking about rendering it. So, yesterday, huh? Yeah. We take the, uh, these are externally beaded to pop the beads out from the outside. It's not doing nothing, isn't it? Oh, is that you're taking off? That, that, that's just, oh, oh, I thought you were doing the trim. No, no. <laughs> oh, forget that. Right, let's make this quick because we've talked too much. Yesterday, I knew the brick match was going to be hard because it discontinued, which is a bane of our lives at the moment so I settled on mull calls so we went to brick, brick store in Wigan see what they had and basically it was the mull calls which are a bit more orange than this with a purple heart where these are quite pale with an orange heart but anyway that's what we settled on and he said 65 or 73 so I thought shit I can't risk picking the bricks up and being the wrong size so we had to drive from Wigan to here so um Got here, obviously the bricks are right size, so right, sorted. Head down to Bursco, to Fairwoods, where we usually deal with, which is a bit closer. Gets to Fairwoods. Hi Stu, any, any mull calls? No, sorry mate, none in stock. So um, he rings round. Uh, McGull, none in stock. Uh, Up Holland, none in stock. So goes up the road to Hughes Grey, nothing. Uh, and they, they checked about four or five branches, local branches, nothing. The only place had them was Formby. So the plan was get here this morning, get unloaded, leave Alex to do all this and I go off and get the bricks. But luckily Harry the customer turns up and said he was thinking about rendering. So I said well why don't you just do it in block because um, it's going to be cheaper and there's no point paying the extra for the brickwork when you're going to get it rendered anyway. So for the sake of it looking a bit ropey for a while. A bit ropey. Just do it in block. So if we do it in block, so obviously we'll knock, knock a bit off the price because it's, it's going to be a, a lot less of the materials. We're going to be here all day anyway, but um, we can knock the materials price off. So that's sorted. So <clears throat> plan now is get get it all out. No need to do any tooling, which is going to save us a lot of time. It's just just uh, screw ties now. So um, I can stay a lot longer now. Wait for the school traffic to go down, and once we're sorted, I can go and get the rest of the blocks. So that's a relief because we thought we were going to be in for a long one today, working into the dark again. So things have gone our way for a start and we haven't even started yet. So we'll um, put you somewhere for time for a while while we get this out and then um, crack on.
Uh, it's a good job we're not keeping the glass. It's a good job we're not keeping any of it. But um, we've been bamboozled by these little brackets. That one's rusted out, so it's popped out quite easy. But as I've been trying to get this one out, you did some glass shatter out. Yeah. Just the inside. Look, that's all there. Uh, fine. Is that the outside pane? No. Is it? No, I think that's the outside pane. That. Anyway, these things because the obviously it's out externally beaded to stop people just popping the windows out. They have special screws in which we haven't got. Like, like triangular. Yeah. So we haven't got that. We haven't got them. So um, we're just trying to. We've, we haven't got the uh, multi-tool or the little grinder which both would have come in handy so we're just trying to do it like cavemen well, as, as bricklayers do, you, do do you want to nip home and grab some blocks and grab the multi-tool grab, grab them from a pond nah uh, not when I can get them from a gull yeah we'll, we'll just we'll just pace them in just try not to break any more yeah that's it so that's that, another good thing about the block work is we don't have to try and match into that state of that. Bloody awful. Let's give another quick close up of this. Somebody's built that, happy with it, got paid and walked away. And the customer also said this is single skin. That was um, single brickwork and they plastered straight onto the brickwork. So it wasn't even waterproofed, and everyone knows London brick are like sponges, so just just really poor. So the best thing they can do do for this place is render it. So anyway, let's carry on and get this thing out as best we can. Try to keep the rest of it in one piece. Show you this first. The top course has fell off loose when I've took the windows, windowsill off, and oh. then that fell off as well. So it's getting bricked up anyway. So I've took it off. I can not just not the last bit of cavity out, and then we can build across. Excuse me. No, no insulation in the cavity. So we'll get someone as best we can, and obviously we'll insulate where we're building. Uh, this was our level, but could you buy the splits that went on top of it? Now. That's pretty pretty much straightforward now. The window again, I just stop and some screws in it. So I don't know how it's fixed. I don't even know it's fixed there into the door frame. There's no screws through there. I'm thinking it's probably screwed back from the door frame. It's not moving on the sill, so maybe there's something. And we haven't got a customer hasn't got the key for the door, so Alex has brought the key. There you go, that's got the key. So we're just going to destroy it basically. Doesn't want to keep it, so. And uh, before people say, oh, you should have took it out and sold it, look at the state of the place, it's knackered. It's externally beaded, it's all rusty. So we've been given permission to just um, proceed with ext extreme prejudice. So we're going to just chop it up basically. So fire away. By that noise, there's no there's no air uh, reinforcing that frame. Should sure yeah. we start coming out a bit, a bit easier? Take let's take the mullions out first. Whip the mullions out, top and bottom. Straight at the top here. It's a metal blade, isn't it? So we'll just go through the mechanism. I'm coming here. Just coming here, Al. Hey? Just come round here. Nah. There's a hop up here. Hmm? There's a hop up here. Oh, do I pass me it over here? Yeah. Old school hop up. Right. 
need to hold this one because it's still going to be attached. So they've still got the mechanism in the window there, but it's a metal blade, so fire away. Isn't it put too much of a fight, did it? No. Right, when you get down, don't swing on that because it's going to be loose. You ready to take it? Uh, yeah, go to that. It's a good weld, isn't it? It's not even welded. Oh my god. It is reinforced. This, well, this is a first for me. I've never seen this before. I did this for 14 years. And I've never seen this before. These just lift that off, Al. The mullions aren't welded. They're just, uh, just lift it. I've never seen that before. They're not welded, they're just slotted onto a bracket. Anyone else seen that before? Across the good search for Eisty Works, they manufacture their own. This was always these are always structurally welded. Whereas this they just we've cut through the bracket there at the top. Look, they they just pull off. There's a little screw bracket there to hold them in. Well that's a shocker. That's a new one on me. I'll chop the bottom there and the bottom there. We'll start, we'll take the bottom out. Goes right through the sill as well. Bit more from the back. Perfect. Same with that one, go right through to the brick. Yes. Be careful with the brick right there, mate. So, cool. So it is reinforced. It must be crappy stuff because the way that went through it. Right, Al, get, get your bolster behind that and pull it out. It should snap off at the weld. If not, you might just have to cut it. Right, give it a good tug. There you go. Get in. <laughs> That's fun. There you go, that was the well, two. in alright shape. Hey? Most of the lintel's alright. Yeah. Lintel's in good nick. <laughs> the first thing that's any good. So they two screws holding the frames together. That put nothing no mechanical fixings holding the frame in anywhere. Again. What you think on there with all the sharp stuff? Right. So, oh, th sorry, three screws holding the frames together. So we just need to get, just butcher this frame now, so we can get the door out. Maybe chop it at the top, Al. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't like it's fixed at all, does it? Maybe fix it to the brickwork. Chopper at the bottom then. Yeah. 
we go. I told you it was the key. Doors open. I wonder if that's um looks like steel. I don't think it's aluminium. If it was aluminium we'd have it straight out of there. Yeah. Right. I'll put him time, that's the rest of it. But I think maybe we'll be able to lift the door off the hinges, which you sometimes can. Yeah, that's been screwed that one out. Yeah. We don't want to destroy this wall. Well that, she says the poor workmanship made our job really easy. So we've got to get a coarser bit back down here, the damp coarse level. And then, as we always do, cut the cavity out. Don't brick a door up without cutting the cavity out because you've got a cold bridge and a chance of damp. Because it is quite damp in there. And again there, that looks, that's gone anyway. And then this side, I'm going to start on this side in a minute, get this side cut out. You need the cavity continuous because it's not a, it's not a window or a door anymore. It's it's a wall. So never leave the cavity like that. Just spend the extra half hour and get the cavity cut out, um, and then we'll be able to shove some insulation through as well, even though the rest of it isn't insulated. So um, you might want to put a mask on while you're doing that. So yeah, again, crack on. We'll get this, get it all prepped. And then once we get you into a good position, we're ready to start. I'll nip off and get the rest of the gear. Well, let's get some mix on and that. It's a big relief we're not doing brickwork. A really big relief because we don't have to tooth out now. And that's going to save us a lot of time. So we won't have to put the lights on later. Well, I hope we won't have to put the lights on later. But uh, yeah, that, that could have been a lot more awkward than it was. So we're making good progress. Alex has took the tops off most of it. Just needs to pop those nails out next. Yeah. That side's done. All opened up. And I've done this side and he's just finishing the bottom bit. I've just got the camera to show you that the uh, this bit's cavity's full. Uh, three quarters of a DPC. So uh, that's good isn't it? So by who's coming here that's going to get all cleared out. So that's should out with the damp. It's all very wet this, it's a good job it's getting rendered. It's um, if you look above at the top there, it stays flat. It's an ugly, looks like 70s or 80s extension horribles. It's not even square, it's, it's, it follows the, it's square across the front and it goes off on an angle and comes back on an angle at the back. So you've got all these. Yeah, not nice. Yeah, so the prep work's nearly finished. We can start getting the blocks out of the van and get, making a bit of um, progress forwards, which is good. Happy days. How are we doing? Uh, we're getting there. Yes, this is the shit pile of things. Get the camera. 
That's not our ship, by the way. <laughs> we don't put it in, we take it out. Yeah, so um, we're nearly there. We're, we're going to get um, get everything tidied up. And it's time for a quick break. And then I think Will's giving us a ring from Quick Fix Radio, so we're going to have to have a little drive out to get a signal somewhere. <laughs> anyway, catch him a bit. change the batteries yeah oh cool 98 percent right it's 11 o'clock we've had a late break because we spent a ridiculous amount of time clearing out the shit out of this cavity let me just get the light mm. cracking work like that there we go there you go just a little bit left to take out there that top end there is solid we can't get out to get it out so we're gonna get this last bit out get tidied up and then we can get some blocks loaded in there get the spot board set up Alex is going to do the tidying up of the blocks while I get the mixing so um last bit of um fettling to do and then um, I know why we didn't finish that off because we had a call off Clive Holland for the fixed radio today so um talking about Ravenhead Brickworks closing which is a bit of a shame so yeah, usual time lapse mixing. Yeah, it's um, 21st of November, we're on Clive again today, talking about um, bricks, as bricklayers do. So, there's Alex, is on the internal, <clears throat> all the blocks loaded out. I've marked the gauge on three times, because I've cocked it up three times, so I've given up. So Alex is starting on the inside, because he's just working off the block work, where I've got cuts to do over the brick work. <clears throat> After, I've been to McGull up the road, to Fairwoods and get the rest of the blocks. I think we need 14 blocks. It's a massive relief, it's block and render now. Good job we didn't pick up them, 200 bricks now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if we, if we pick them up, we'll, we'll be building it face work, but. Mm. 
so oh, she's got a damp down not ideal because working it's just a slab so um, we're just following what's there course of brick a damp course of brick another damp and then block work from there not ideal but you can't polish a turd as they say so um yeah i've got the screw tires ready that gauge on that side is, is that's been redone that side that's okay the other side will just follow what's there um we've got a we found these things in the box i'm just trying to work out what they're for so um answers on a postcard if you know what these are for So yeah, I'm going to stick you on time lapse to watch Alex and I'm going shopping.
Right, you can't tell on this camera because it always looks lighter on the camera, but we're losing the light. It's um it's it's three minutes to four. So Alex just got the last pieces in on his side. So he's finishing off in there. He's gonna leave that bit now and tidy up inside when the light's gone out here because he's got the lights inside. So he's gonna come out here and help you tidy it around here. I've just got the last pillar and a little bit to go in there. All the cuts are done, ready to go in, except for the top ones, which are 140 cut, I think. So they're my last cuts to do. So I'm gonna do them last minute, just before I can't see anymore. So I need to get this mixer tipped out, get some water in it, and then start gathering stuff together, especially tools, because this is when you start losing tools, that packing up in the dark. So I'll stick you back over on the shawl, while we get this last bit finished and we'll go for the home run, the home stretch. I can be interrogated. <laughs> um, it's about just gone five, I think. Quarter past five. You wouldn't think it, feels like bloody midnight, but we got it finished. That's the main thing. If that was bricks, there was no way in hell. But um, only thing is, we've um, run out of insulation, so we'll come back with some more of that and we'll just um, drop some off for the customer to pop in, not Robbie, while they're putting the windows in. I can't even see you over there. Where are you? There you are. There you go, that's two windows fitted. That's two windows fitted after a very pleasant morning of just demolition and then it was um, after that where things went a bit south. But um, there you go, main thing is it's in on the same day. So, that'll be the end of this nice little day job. Thank you all very much. Because we're working around crap work again. Trying to make walls straight when nothing's straight. And you've just got to work to what you've got. And then at the top you can see we're, we're probably two block, blocks short. So we just need to do with that. 
but that'll be the end of this then so thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more hit subscribe and tap on that bell what on earth is dad doing oh that way you'll always be notified when we upload it's a massive help to the channel we greatly appreciate it any additional support which isn't necessary but appreciated you can always give us a super thanks at the bottom of the video or in the description is dad's paypal which again not necessary but greatly appreciated this has been brick lane with steve who's there he is steve and alex and we'll see you in the next one